Welcome to a new video about the Sistema Kardashnikova. In the comment section of the video about the punch, we've had a lot of questions about what to do when someone gives you a jab. It's a very interesting question. Thank you for your feedback and let's dive into the matter. Try to understand that when someone gives you a punch um, or a jab in this case, nothing else changes as to what I, Alex told you about deflecting a punch, meeting it in the trajectory, meeting it giving contact and manipulate the punch. However, in the, in the jab, he would do it fast with his back, hand or most of the times what boxers would give a front jab just to make him lose his guard boom, and then give the other strong hand behind it. Whoa. So, but the same principle applies. Keep your distance as a bit slower. This is, one, this is a hit and this is a miss. So check your own distance whoop, and meet him and deflect him. And because rotational force is always faster than lateral force, you can use the same principle when someone gives you a jab and you can give him, when I have contact with the vector force, just as before he wants to pull it back, I can grip him on the fist and give rotation downward. What it does is using the cantilever principle, I give him a strain on the cantilever and it will make him lose his balance forward. Whoop. And from there on, I can punch myself or go further in the situation. If he is too fast and I cannot um, deflect him in this way, I need to stick myself like a chameleon to his punch. Whoop. So, I have contact with him now, and f based on from this contact, I can go further in the matter. Well, try to observe what he is doing. A jab is very fast, but he gives a signal that he's about to do something in his spinal cord, because that's where the rotation of the force is coming from. So do not observe the end, because that would be very fast and you would not be able to track it. Observe the center. I can put a load, I can put again. So one more time. Whoop. Thank you. So understand that the same principles apply over and over again. And it does not matter what the situation is, you can always find an answer based on physics and biomechanical principles. We hope you find this useful information and please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.